Before I begin to speak, and the reason I spend a little time in the kids, I, I just want to speak very briefly about the school shooting in Nashville, Tennessee. <clears throat> you know, uh, Ben and I have been doing this our whole careers, it seems. And uh, it's just, uh, it's sick. You know, we're still gathering the facts of what happened and why. And we do know that as of now, there are a number of people who are not going to, did not make it, including children. And it's heartbreaking, uh, a family's worst nightmare. And I want to commend the police who responded incredibly swiftly, within minutes, to end the danger. We're monitoring the situation really closely, Ben, as you know. And uh, we have to do more to stop gun violence. It's ripping our communities apart, ripping the soul of this nation, ripping at the very soul of the nation. And we, we have to do more to protect our schools so they aren't turned into prisons. You know, uh, the shooter in this situation reportedly had two assault weapons and a pistol, two AK-47. So I call on Congress again to pass my assault weapons ban. It's about time that we begin to make some more progress. But there's more to learn. But I just wanted to send my uh, concern and hearts out to so many parents out there. I've been to so many of these sites, as Ben knows, by virtually every one. And uh, one of the things you folks should, I know you do know, but you should focus on. You know, just like when in the military, when my son was in Iraq for a year, other places, you, so many members of the military coming back with post-traumatic stress after witnessing the violence and participating in it. Well, these children, these teachers, you should be, should be focusing on their mental health as well. And so I'm grateful anyway. Sorry to start off that way, but I couldn't begin without acknowledging what happened.